I love Howard. I'm happy to partake in any uh, buffoonery he wants to make of me. I said, look, you know, Albert, I love you. I said, but I just, it's death to have you in here alone. <laughs> if you don't mind, could a naked girl sit on your lap? And he said, sure. Hi, I'm Brittany from Scores. I'm here. I'm ready to get naked so I can sit on Albert Brooks' lap. I hope he doesn't get like a Woody or anything. So how do you think Howard's movie's going to do? Howard's movie is going to make $125 million. That's my prediction. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent prediction. That's what I feel. Are you going to be one of the first people to see it? Um, I'm going to try to see it even before. I'm going to... You know, they have a low-rated E screening program. So all of us that got low-rated E shows get to see the movie first. Me and that uh, midget with no legs and uh, that fat lesbian. Oh, this is Brittany. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get ratings with you, honey. Yeah. Who cares what Albert has to say? <laughs> you like the new studio? Well, I like I like your new hair color. What do you think of that? You know her so well, you know she's got a new hair color. <laughs> you sure do. <laughs> how are you, my darling? I'm doing well. How are you? You look fantastic. What is that? You're wearing a halter top with a mini skirt and... Uh, Why, Brittany's here. Uh, you know, like either you'll sit on his lab or pick up your top. He's, coach, he's coaching. Yeah, like dance while he's plugging his movie. He's a, he's a comic genius. Do you know Albert Brooks? Um, I know a little bit about him. He did the movie Mother. And Let me bring him in. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, Albert, come on in. Okay. Call him Alan. That'll drive him crazy, okay? Alan? Alan, instead of Albert. Oh, Just always Alan. make that, every time, make that mistake. All right, that'll drive him nuts. Albert's going to sit in seat one, Gorilla. Put the coffee in the wrong one. Albert Brooks, wow. You. Genius. <laughs> there he is. Alan, my darling Alan, you're oh, here. Alan, Albert. Albert, Albert, right. Yeah, Albert, sit down. Uh, sit down. I used to be blonde. Here, come on, sit down. Sit down in chair one. He looks pissed off. Albert, sit over there. Chair one. All right. Before I start, I must tell you, you know, in fact, I, I have a very special person in my life. So and sit close to the girl so I, I you get high ratings. I had, <laughs> what? I had to okay this, and she's really a wonderful woman, and uh, and I, I told her that, you know... You have a girlfriend? I do. I bet you have a hot girlfriend. I bet she's a lot younger than you, too. <sighs> she's six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put on your headphones, Albert. And, uh, no, no, she's wonderful. She's very brilliant. And I said Howard uh, was insulting me, and he wanted to uh, have a naked woman, and she said... I love the movie Mother so much, whatever helps the movie. So put on your headphones. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's Brittany. Hi, Brittany. How I had you? asked if you were single. And now, do you? I mean, he's got a, yeah. he's got a girlfriend For back. For promotional reasons only. Right. Yes. No, you have sex with many different women, don't you? I mean, no, right now. No, I do not. I'm... You are uh, monogamous at this point? What does that mean? I mean, <laughs> Albert's like a millionaire and he makes movies. I mean, that's about the best. Oh, look who's talking. No, but I mean, you, that's, I'm married. You have the best Tukey magnet there is on the planet. I mean, but I, I have a, a one person now. Yeah, for now. How long has this been going Until on? Until you get this bored. Go no, 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 no. This has been going on a year. It's uh, Oh, Albert. Oh, wow. Gee, a whole year. <laughs> well, I mean, I, what, I could have said a week. Gee, a whole year? Well, Gee. I can't. Wow. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> well, that's like in a movie person's life, and that's like dog years. That's six. Yeah, I know. I mean, you got whole, you, gee, that would be me. That's how I would work it. Uh -huh. If I was single, I'd be like, you know, and, and like all these like single guys who get tons of women, they all try to act like, you know, why do I make a big deal about it? What's the big deal? You want to oh, know, not only that, the that. worst is that they say, no, I really wish I had your situation. Yeah, I yeah. wish I could find that one woman. Yeah, well, you could find any woman. <laughs> there's a woman sitting right next to you, Mary. Anyone will, you. will do. <laughs> That's right. Alan, I want to know if you're going to come to Albert. scores tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to come to scores tonight? Howard, you're anyway? right. It was low rated. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, Alan, are you going to go to... Uh, I mean, Albert. Wait, Albert. Wait, wait, I'll be right back. I'm going to cut my head off. <laughs> yeah. I had a dream last night about you. Yeah, yeah. I bet. How about I Alan? Did, I did, I did. And we were having sex. But you know in your dream how it's not the person you think it is? It was Mel Brooks. Uh -huh. But it was really supposed to be you. But we were having sex. It was really weird. She's yeah. doing good. Yeah. yeah. No, right. it, but this is true. I really had a dream about that. I'm Albert, you're a bit of a recluse, aren't you? Not really. I drive carefully. Really? No, come on. Be honest. You're a bit of a recluse. You are, you're one of those Hollywood...
Hollywood legend. No one legend. ever sees you unless you're promoting a movie. But I'm, you know why? Because I'm born and raised in that town, and you don't want to be, if, if you start, once you start, it's like fashion. Right. You can't, you, it, 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 it ruins the, the art part of your life. You can't partake. No, admit party. that you want a mystique, and you want to be only on the scene when you're ready to come out with something big. Yeah. And uh, you're, you have an image. Uh, like, like you. Right, well, whatever. What is his image? <laughs> what, my image? No, his. I don't know. <laughs> I have no image. I'm Alan. And, and yes, uh, yes, Brittany? Um, am I going to take my top off for him now? Or oh, later? she's anxious to do this. I it's up to, to you, Howard. I sense the interview going well. I sense so I think just her presence is going to bring in those few people to kick the rating up to the normal thing when, well, you, you, know what, when we, you have we, the guy who eats glass. I have the solution. <laughs> yeah. I have the solution. Match. Go ahead. Hold her in bay. If Albert does start to get boring, you can then have her take her top if off. If I signal you like this, <laughs> if I scratch my head, right. that means so, just take your top off. I don't want to embarrass him by saying he's getting boring. <laughs> no, no, so for me as a performer, if I see a breast, I know I'm bombing. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. So far, you're doing good. You're good. interesting. Great. Yeah. I had a dream. By the way, the last time you were on, you were very interesting. I can't explain why you had low ratings on E. If I had such low ratings, how come you repeated the show three times? I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. They must have uh -huh. run out of shows. Uh -huh. They must have yes. run out of shows. Uh -huh. Look, I'm a fan. The two dead midgets didn't sign off on the... <laughs> <laughs> And Albert, you like what you say. Well, she's... Been you know, it's natural, but I, I, want to, I want to be a little larger. So, if now it's been here a while, I was going to say, no, I was going to say, let's take some calls, and we want all the calls to be for the girl. Like, okay. hey, I'm a big fan. Okay. I saw you at scores. Let's take some uh, questions for Albert. Okay. All right. A lot of people uh, want to call in and say hello to a famous filmmaker and uh, this kind of thing. Happy to talk to your audience. How? Exactly. I think you have a lovely audience. All right. Let's go uh, now to Watch first question. One insult after another. All right. Uh, Tim, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Howard? Yes. You have a Hi. question? Go ahead. Yes. Hey, Brittany. I'm heading to the stage this weekend, you know, and I'm I'm a desperate guy. You know, I was wondering how much money would it take for you to give me a lap dance. Oh. All right, so obviously you don't want to speak to Albert. You want to ask Brittany a question. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how a much Sorry, is a Albert. lap dance, Brittany? How much is a lap dance at scores? It's $20. $20. I $20. Tim, I just have a question for my own. I need to keep records for my own life. Yes. Uh, how much education have you had? <laughs> uh, 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 don't get all insulted. I'm not. I'm asking a question. <laughs> Come on. The guy wants to know how I much. I want to know what grade. I graduated college. college. Did you graduate you college? Did. Absolutely. What college what is college? University of Connecticut. Well, there you go. You oh, come. University, University of Connecticut. Oh, my God. That's one <laughs> what college great, did you go to, Albert? That's one of the great schools for, uh, uh, huh? What college did you go to? I went to Carnegie Mellon. Oh, did you really? Yes, I did. A well, really there you go. great school. Yeah. I didn't graduate, though. I left after two years. I ran into Tim, and we both quit. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, let's see if there isn't another question. Okay. Let's go to uh, Harold. Harold, you're on the air. Hey, uh, Brittany, this is Harold in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, Howard, I know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> What is it, Harold? That's all right. Let's have Monday officially make Albert a fool. All right, Albert. <laughs> all right, Harold, what is your question for Brittany? Ask Brittany another question. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. I just want to know if she had decals, because I think I know her. I think she was a dancer. She's drinking out of a Royale paper cup. Oh. She has no I have B, but if you'd like to pitch into my breast fund, I am going larger in a few months. So I'd you are? They're beautiful. It. Yes, but I want to be a little bit. I want to be what, like Pamela what, Anderson. What do you use? No, don't, don't. You're a B? What do you what? use? A silicone? Or no, they're you, saline, saline, but they look Wow. Cute. Look at those. Oh, you mean those? Those are, those, are not, those are filled with saline? Yeah. And those are bees? Yeah. Those are beautiful. Well, your shirt is open, aren't they? <laughs> and Albert, you like what you say. Well, she's very pretty. You look natural, but I, I, want to, I want to be a little larger. I, so Albert, do you think she should go larger? I would not do anything more to your no? breasts. No, they're gorgeous, and yeah. they're so beautiful. Because when Thank silicone, you. when the saline goes, it goes way bad. <laughs> right. You know what? You're lucky those look so natural and nice. I would not touch those. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. I know from my contact lenses implant. when yes. the solution dries does. up. Nobody yes. A mess. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I recommend the second vagina, however, oh. if you can get one of those, because uh, while I'm waiting, I like to be doing something with the other one. You know, the sharper image has where you can just take one in your pocket. You don't even have to <laughs> the pocket that. That's right. vagina. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, the questions aren't going so well because they all seem to be for Brittany. Oh, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't you have any questions for Albert? Gee, I didn't. I never, uh, not me, I never no. knew you had that much in common with Dick Clark. Huh? I, I really had more questions for Brittany myself. <laughs> uh, little... I would like to have more questions for Brittany. You Anybody would. Else? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see if let's see if there isn't a question for Albert. Let's, F let's Albert. Oh, oh, that's not right. F Albert. Albert's How great. How dare you. Let's see. He's our hero. Uh, hey. I apologize for that. Friends of the show. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Jeff, you're on the air. Seriously, hey. a question for Albert. No, this is a this is a Brittany. I'm sorry. All right. But um, one last question for Brittany. Hi, Jeff. All right. I've seen Brittany at scores. Right. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Oh. Oh. All right.
right. Well, there you well, go. Well, we had to well, lose Jane, the class of listener. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, Alvin. Has revealed itself. <laughs> Who no, is this stripper you're cool. dating now? It's <laughs> not a stripper. stripper. Who is it? She's an artist, and she's an a, artist, a very classy lady. When you say an artist, what a painter? Uh, a painter, a new media artist, designed, you know, among. How did you meet her? I I was set up on a date with her. Yeah. Somebody said, hey, guess what? I can get you a date with Albert Brooks, yes. the filmmaker. Yes, and she must be a gorgeous-looking girl. Well, yeah. she's very pretty, but more than that, she's, like, smart and gets me. And, and great uh, at fellatio. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't speak any other language. Ah, I see. Yeah. So she's probably thrilled because... Oh, how old is she, by the way? She's uh, in her 30s. Really? Yeah. Oh, haven't you matured? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> is that right? But meanwhile, she probably looks great in a Quite bikini. Quite frankly, my agent sat me down and said, after Woody Allen, please go as old as you can. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Well, I was smart. You know, you're a director. You should you should uh, go the opposite of Woody Allen. I don't need that rep, you know. Well, let me tell you something. This is going so well. I have uh, Britney's only taken her top off once. <laughs> and now it's back on, just so the audience <laughs> yes, knows. Yes, it is back on. Because there is a radio Because you're audience. doing well. Yes, you are doing well. Yeah, but you, you know what? I'll tell you something, Howard. I've been doing, I've done more for this movie than anything because I... You I, believe in I it. I do. And so I've been to many cities, and I do radio shows when I go to those cities, which I like to meet that group. Right. Even though you're it's an evil group, even oh, it's, it's a scary. Group. <laughs> it is a scary group. You know why does radio attract so many I mutants? Just don't know these guys. Uh, you know the, the the greatest thing about radio people is they think their audience is a hundred times bigger than it is. <laughs> That's right. They have this imagination. <laughs> I want. I tell you one story. When I was in high school, I wanted very much to be on the radio, and there was a, an FM station in Long Beach. Right. And I drove down in the middle of the night, and I went. Uh, it would, at, at midnight, the guy was on, and uh, he was going to interview me during a break and he had behind him an entire map of California. Now this is when you're when when you're I was in, in high school. In high school. Yeah. And he was going to interview you while you were in I, high school. He was no, he's going to interview me to be on like on a weekend. Oh, like, I see. Night. Okay, I go ahead. Yeah. It was a little FM station. <clears throat> right. But he had behind him this map of California and he had circles around he had a, a red circle from Los Angeles to Santa Barbara. Like a radius. That's right. right. A green circle that went up to San Francisco and a blue circle that went up to Canada. <laughs> right. And I said, "What's that?" He said, "That's our coverage." Oh. Uh, yeah. we a coverage says, map. Yeah, he says, uh, at night, uh, we are 20,000 watts. We go up through Alaska. <laughs> we have a potential listening audience of about 35 million people. That's right. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, I want, I was alone in the station. I wandered around the station. I went into the transmitter room. <laughs> right. And I didn't know anything. I opened up the transmitter door. Right. And I heard this electronic noise that is all of the equipment shutting off. Because, you know, the station will go off the air. You, It's too much electricity. Right. So I open up this door, and eight needles go, Poo! and go to zero. And you turned I, off the radio station. They're off the air. Right. So he didn't know how to get them back on. We sat there, Howard, for two hours. Nobody called. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. I'm, uh, no one called. Finally, the station manager called after two hours and said, are you on the air? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's so, amazing. That, you know, obviously. Let uh, me tell you something. That is a great story. But, Brittany, can you show me your ass? I mean, that, that, listen, that, we're in a little trouble here. Have you ever been to a strip club? Mother. Out? Huh? Wow. <laughs> Mother. This movie is going to really... This puts you over the top. I don't know what you're going through, but you know there's the screening reports yes. you get, right? Yeah. So you Test know, audiences. Right. So, the, well, the, no, no, no. I mean, the critics see the movie. Yes. And then the people from the studio have to glean what they think. I see. So you get these pre-reviews. It's oh. really scary. My, fa I associate my fax machine ringing with, like, a nervous moment because yes. I'm going to, as the paper comes out, I'm going to see wh how things are going. So the first reviews you get are these non-reviews from the people at the studio who say uh, Rolling Stone, you know, talk to uh, Peter Travers, uh, very positive. Right. Um, wished uh, this, but seemed to like it. So now you're, start, you're, start, you're trying to figure out from their writing what they're going to say. Right. And uh, Yeah, no, and, it's important to me that critics like this film. I I, uh, I think they will, so I know what you're going through. Yeah. I mean, I'm going through the same thing. You're less susceptible to it because you have a very loyal following who has no questions for me and doesn't give a crap whether I'm exactly, here Exactly, that's right. <laughs> Brittany, uh, quickly, take something off. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have to do to, to be in your next movie? Bottom line, bottom line, what do I have to do to be um, If you would have sex with Howard... <laughs> is that right? I will put you in the right movie. Now? Right now? Right now. You're, you can make watch. my career right now, you know? I just want to be single for ten minutes and take, like, a girl to my movie, you know? Like, to the like, premiere. Not even to the premiere, just take her, like, to a theater and go, hey, come on, let's go watch my film. I, I, just I thought of an idea. maybe to even one of those screenings. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. an idea for you. What if you had your wife, just as an experiment, like, dye her hair red... Yeah. ...and do something to her little cosmetic change? Yeah. Just so it can feel like...
back a different woman. No, 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 that never works. You could, you, you could have somebody go through, like, 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 send them to Disney and have them change them into like, a whole new thing. It doesn't make a difference. And not only that, your wife no. is still going to have the same, she's still going to have the same conversation with you. Yeah. You're still going to hear the same story. All right, bad I idea. walked in last Take night, top I was having a phone conversation with Ivan Reitman, right, on the phone, and my wife in the middle of it walks in and goes, are you going to empty the garbage in your office, or am I going to have to do it again? This is in the middle of the damn conversation. I'm thinking I'm really kind of neat and everything. You're happening. And I'm happening. And she starts yelling at me because she's this big green garbage bag, and she says, you empty the garbage, okay? Just empty it for once. Yeah, that's not going to change. Huh? Yeah, right. So if she has red hair or not, it's still going to be the same attitude. I get it. Bad you take idea. a girl like Britney to the movie, oh, but she's like, oh my God, this guy can do something for this my is career. Incredible. And oh. she's going to give me incredible sex. Alan, you've made the most wonderful movie. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank Albert Brooks for coming in. Yeah. yeah. Evidently, it was a good appearance because the top she only came off once. Very, very happy. And very she had to whip out her ass only once. Only so. once. <laughs> right. And hey, maybe we should have our producer from the E Show, Scott Einziger, come in and ask how Albert did. And do we need to have a girl that's at the end dancing around? That's the guy who told us he was good. Yeah. All right, Scott, come in. Let's see. Let's well, what if he says you didn't do well? I'll you're take think, it. Right. I don't care anymore. All right, let's just. You thought the, I'm film, on a lot the New of York film critics were important? No, it's <laughs> no, not. This guy's important. There. Scott, take microphone number four and, and give us an evaluation quickly. And be honest. Don't don't. Uh, Brittany did really well. Brittany did well. Thank Albert, you. you were funny today. Okay. I expect high ratings. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Albert, you could beat him up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to beat him up. <laughs> Scott, That's the guy yeah. who caused you all the problems. Yeah. Do we need Brittany to dance around or anything with her top off so that? Yeah, that would be nice. Keep plugging it through. Albert's show. We could run the credits and stuff. I right. could just say the title of the movie one more time while she takes her time. Yeah, could you dance off. around? Okay, here and, we go. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 pretend you're at Mother. scores. Mother. Go ahead. Mother. Here. Yeah, give, give Albert a lap dance or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to a strip club? Albert? Mother. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Mother. Mother. Well, you got some body, Brittany. Thank you. Oh, oh Mother. not you, Albert. Wow. Mother. Fantastic. Uh oh, Mother. Holy I love it. mother. Holy mother. <laughs> mother. You wouldn't go out with her, Albert? Wow. Does your girlfriend have as good a body as that? My girlfriend has a better body than this. Really? That's right. I don't believe and it. And my girlfriend knows my name. <laughs> Well, what kind of guy do you want to meet? You're in a strip club. Who do you want to meet? I don't want to meet somebody there. Brittany, do you ever go like on a vacation with like your boyfriend or something, and like you go like topless on an island or something like that? That would be my fantasy. Um, I don't have a boyfriend. But Can you get on that microphone? I don't have a boyfriend, but if I did, I mean. Well, why don't you have a boyfriend? Topless. Yeah, like why don't you? The right kind of guy. Would well, what kind of guy do you want to meet? You're in a strip club. Who do you want to meet? <laughs> Somebody there. Maybe the better class of man. <laughs> what about it? What about like There's a? Usually mostly just women in there though. You're probably a lesbian, right? Um, yeah. no, I'm yeah. not a lesbian. But you're really but into you like checks. women. That's why you I can't meet a guy. I've the line before. Really? You have? Yeah. Would what you, you have two girls at the same time, Albert? I've experimented. Um, uh, hey, now. Oh, I guess <laughs> he has. Yeah. How many uh, would you say? Well, what do you mean at the same time? <laughs> like, I mean, in bed with you at the same time. Well, you know, it's tr I've tried that before, but uh, one got up and left. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't satisfy both of them. I wasn't even, they wouldn't Which even st was stay it? to try. It was, on, uh, it was uh, many years ago on July 4th. And, uh, I'm one, telling you. One was, uh, one was angry at the other, and they had a fight, and I was in the middle of it, and it was a stupid night. No, but what did you do? I mean, did you sit there and watch them while they got it on, or did you participate? Um, no, I, I didn't really do anything. It was a very unpleasant uh, fulfillment of that fantasy. Really? Yes. It didn't and go well. you never well. tried it again? One, one woman wanted to try this, and when the other woman came, she realized that she didn't want to try it. I see. So the woman that whose suggestion it was got up and said, why don't you two just continue. And, and I left. said, hey, what are you so upset about? It was your idea. <laughs> it's July 4th. It's our country's birthday. Take it easy. Wow. So it didn't go well. It didn't go well. But you see, all. guys who have this kind of action going on, and believe me, Albert does, they can act like this. Oh, big deal. Naked I want to do cares. a movie about mothers yeah, and sons. Right. Exactly. <laughs> guys like me have to act that out in the movie because I don't get any of that You're going to see, I promise you, you will see your mother in this too. That's why, <laughs> that's why it's such a good movie. Right. Oh, God, I know it's your mother. This is really surreal. I mean, this is just a really Really nice interview. Now Albert I know Brooks it's your thing. mother because Debbie doesn't like me either. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, I am looking forward to seeing the movie. This is actually a movie that will get me out of the house. I will yes. go see Mother because it's got and such I great reviews. And I will see yours too. Huh? You will. I really will. I would like to have you at the premiere, as a matter of fact. I will invite You'll you. have to fly me in and treat me a lot better. Well, then forget it. <laughs> <laughs> then it's not going to happen. All right. The great Albert Brooks. Thank you. Truly a, a legend.
And uh, the movie is Mother, Mother in theaters now. Friday. Thank we'll you. take a break. And uh, uh, Brittany, of course, can put her clothes on. Okay, thank you. Unless you want to make, you. Unless you want to make love to me. I'm going to uh, read Brittany if for uh, a uh, uh, part. Movie. Which part were you thinking of? I'm going to remake Lassie, and I'm not sure what part it is. <laughs> <laughs> she can play the mom. Huh? She can play the mom. Me to me. What did I do? Oh, Brittany, don't want now. I'm blamed. <laughs> if this wasn't my idea. I, I'm, I think you're a lovely woman. I think, may I say something right now? Can you act at all? Brittany, you deserve to meet somebody who will treat you well. Yeah. Brittany. So you need to. You know what would be really funny? That Albert Brooks gets arrested for battering Brittany for being on this show. Brittany, can I, I ask you something? I want to, you know, Brittany's been kind enough to come down here from Scores. Yeah. Are you really, do you have aspirations of being an actress? Sure. You do, do you take lessons? No. Oh, she you don't should. do that. Take, take but I, I want to do it like uh, Pamela Anderson. Just get uh, discovered and then I'll take Do me a favor. Do you, you have a scene that you'd like to do? for? I'll, I'll give you a shot. If you want to audition for Albert, go ahead. He's a famous director. What? You have a scene? Do you have a scene in mind? Uh, give me one, director. Okay, you know Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? <laughs> <laughs> You're only 22. Come on now. You're only 22. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know, um, let's see. Uh, Do you know the theme from Baywatch? How about from Happy Gilmore? <laughs> <laughs> Albert, how do you rate that performance? Obviously, I was funny enough that we only saw the breasts once. I, I predict high ratings for the show. <laughs> Scott, Scott. I predict high ratings, Albert. 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 Yeah, Scott, I wants... appreciate it. I predict high ratings. It's the Ace Award nominees. Yeah. <laughs> We need Brittany to dance around or anything uh, with her top off to, so that uh, yeah, that would be you nice. could keep plugging it through Albert's show. We could run the credits and stuff. I could that. just say the title of the movie one more time while she takes her top Yeah, could you dance off. around? Okay, here and, we go. Uh, and do, pretend you're at mother. scores. Mother. Go ahead. Mother. Here. Yeah, give, give Albert a lap dance or oh, whatever. Yeah, she wanted to dance. <laughs> you ever been to a strip club? Mother. Out? Huh? Wow. <laughs> mother. <laughs> Mother. Well, you got some body, Brittany. Thank you. Oh, oh mother. not you, Albert. Wow. Mother. Fantastic. Uh oh, mother. Holy I love it. mother. Holy <laughs> mother. Mother. You want to go out with her, Albert? Wow.